Hi, in this video I will show you how you can use view objects or MPAs to extend the functionality of pages into your Mendix application. You can do all kind of great things with view objects. So please follow me to Mendix Studio and I will show you how, can, how you can use them. In Mendix Studio I have already created a new application. In this application, we will do some stuff on the page. Furthermore, we will add a view object to the domain model. And we will show you how you need to um, handle the, the click event and also how you can um, create a new instance of your view object. So first, let's add a button to the page. button there we go if you press F2 you can directly change the text on the button above the button I want to have a text you can do it with add widget or you can directly type here um, uh, in the page you can directly type your text as well if we try to access a parameter um, Manix will notice that we don't have any data object reference to it and we cannot find anything in the parameter tab as well. For that we need a data view surrounding the text and the button. In this data view we will have the view object available. Currently, we don't have any view object configured in the domain model, so let's head over to the domain model and add an entity. This entity will be changed. I will give it a name home and let's end it with view. So everybody knows that this is a view object. It's not persistable and it has an attribute of amount clicked. is an integer. Now we can go to the page and specify that we want to have a, a home view object in it. The source um, specify a microflow for that and create a new microflow. Give it a name. I'm accustomed to a specific name in convention for that. And now go over to that microflow. In this microflow, we can create a new instance of the view object. And we don't need to specify anything yet. What we need to do is to return the new instance and go back to our home page. We still see that we have an error with a missing parameter, but now we can connect this text parameter to our attribute from the view object. All right, so that's done. There's still one thing left to do. If you click on this button, we need to change the view object so that the amount clicked is increased. How do you do that? Well, we will add a nano flow. On click, click me. And in this nano flow, we can get an input parameter of the home view. And we change the object home view so that the attribute amount clicked is increased by one. Amount clicked is increased by one. All right. Now we need to let the button know 
that if a user clicks on the button, it will execute this nanoflow. The easy way for me is to drag and drop a nanoflow or a microflow onto a button and Mendix knows that you want to have it as the on-click event. So let's run our application and see if it behaves as we want. All right, let's head over to our page. Here you see the home. I am clicked zero times. And if we press click me, you will see that the timer is going up. All right, this is a very short demo uh, about view objects. You can probably uh, think about a lot of use cases uh, more for yourself. Um, please let me know in the comments if you have any good idea. Um, or any questions about the objects. If you found it valuable, please hit like. Thank you for watching.